channel. Today is my 32 uh, week pregnancy update. I am 33 weeks today, but like I said, I'm updating you on my 32 weeks, so on my last week. Um, so to start, baby is over 17 inches long and they say that he weighs more than four pounds now. They're not quite sure because each child starts growing different at this stage, but they're over the four pound mark and they say about the size of a pineapple, which kind of sounds about right to me. That, that sounds about right. This baby feels so big and he's like jabbing me left and right and oh my, he's, he's growing really fast. Um, I have gained a total of 17 pounds this pregnancy. Um, and I feel, even though I know I don't look huge at all and people are like, you can't even tell you're pregnant from the back and like, you look like you're so small and all this stuff, I feel huge. And I think the reason being is because I am short, like I'm 5'4", um, I just feel like the belly that I have is huge for me and moving now is getting hard, bending down to pick stuff up is getting like impossible. So I'm definitely starting to get to that last stage in that my pregnancy where I really can't wait for this baby to come out. Like I'm ready anytime. Even though I still have seven weeks to go, it's like, you can come whenever you want now. Um, so yeah, like I said, baby's been kicking so much. He's super, super, super active. And I think he's actually even more active than John was. And John was insane. So I've been up almost every single night just trying to get a, a position where he won't kick me because he kicks me so hard I can't sleep. And another thing I've been getting is I've been talking about lightning crotch and like how bad I've been getting it, but it's now it's getting to the point where I get it so bad and so often that I literally make a sound. Like when I when he kicks me, I'm like, oh! I'm like, I make this sound and like I have to stop in my tracks. Like it's, it's getting pretty bad and uh, it's really frequent. I didn't have it that often with John, but this time around it's... It's pretty bad. He's just so active and he feels so strong. Um, nausea has picked up a lot, which sucks because I'm like, the more I'm progressing in my pregnancy, it should be going down. But no, the opposite is happening. And the more I'm progressing, the worse it's getting. So that is really unfortunate for me as well. Um, I've been feeling heartburn and a lot of it. I've been taking Tums, usually uh, two to three a day, um, to try and help with the heartburn. And they really help. Instantly, they help. But um, I can't stand the taste of them, so I, I hate taking them. But yeah, heartburn's been rough. It's been keeping me up at night a lot. Um, I've been having to avoid a lot of foods now, like the greasy pizza that I love. Lots of like tomato sauces and things like that. So that's been really unfortunate. Um, I also feel like I can't breathe anymore. He's like up in my ribs, and I'm not sure if you can see my belly from where, like, from the height of the camera. But um, I'll show you at the end of this video. It's like up and I'm like I really can't breathe so I've been wearing like a lot of bandeaus and stuff like that instead of like wearing bras with underwires because I feel like everything is just digging into my belly and it's super uncomfortable um I have really bad restless leg syndrome which I've talked about so many times but it hasn't gone away it's still there and at night I'm constantly like kicking and jerking trying to like find get comfortable positions I feel bad I keep my husband up a lot I've been finding myself moving to the couch here to sleep because it is actually quite comfortable, like a lot more comfortable than our bed. And that way I don't have to keep my husband up at night because he does work and stuff. So, um, yeah, I've been doing that, which is, ugh, it really sucks. Like, I just can't wait for this baby to come out. Um, I've been hungry all the time, too. Like, it's, you guys know that every pregnant woman's like that. But, yeah, it's been picking up definitely. And uh, I sort of, I'm eating super healthy still and trying to, like, watch what I eat. But I have been indulging a little bit more lately than I have been allowing myself in the past just because I am getting near the end of my pregnancy and I'm getting to that point where I'm like everything is so unenjoyable right now like the way I feel and always being in pain and everything that I'm like why not just indulge in some food so if I do um, have some cravings for ice cream and stuff I do indulge and everything is just moderation so smaller portions and things like that um, I'm still working out, which is I'm so thankful for. I feel so great after I'm done, and I'm happy I'm still able to do that. I've done a lot of modifications um, and stuff like that in my workout, so I, you know, as with like to accommodate, I should say, my growing belly and stuff like that. But I definitely am still working out, and I'm gonna keep working out until hopefully the last week. That would be amazing. Um, my midwives have been telling me that women who work out during their pregnancy have a lot easier labor and stuff. So I'm hoping that all this working out I've been doing will help with that. Um, uh, a lot of you guys were actually asking me questions about my, uh, 
contraction since I mentioned it in my last video. Yes, I'm still getting like tons of Braxton Hicks obviously, but I'm also still getting the real like real labor contractions and um, it's still in my back so baby hasn't moved. I've been doing different movements that the midwives gave me um, to try and get him to turn and I don't think it's worked yet but because I still feel the contractions like bad back pains when I get the contractions. But um, yeah, I've, overall I've just been um, getting some contractions once in a while. So to relieve them, I've been taking nice warm baths. Um, we have a very deep tub, which is nice because I can fill it up really high and then just relax and it, it really helps my back a lot and it helps with those contractions. So I've been taking it easy because I don't want, like, it's too early to go into labor. I don't want to have um, a premature baby and have to deal with all that. So we've been, yeah, just trying to take it easy. I haven't really been lifting John and stuff as much as I used to and things like that. So um, hopefully I can keep those contractions like <laughs> at a minimum. Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. I think I've covered everything. I'm going to show you guys the belly. Uh, but before I do, I was talking about in one of, one of my previous videos that I was trying to film um, a really cool video for you guys. And I haven't posted it yet because I haven't even got around to finishing it, like filming wise. Um, it is about John, but he's been like so hard to catch on camera. Like I can't explain it because I don't want to really say what it is in case I don't end up uploading it. But I'm still working on it and I am trying to get it up for you guys. So hopefully I can because it is a really cute video. But like I said, it's just been really hard. I had some people asking me and like commenting on my videos and stuff saying, when is that video going to be posted? Because you guys were curious about it. So I thought I would just update you. Um, but yeah, overall though, in this pregnancy too, um, as I'm getting into like week 33, I actually have a big boost of energy. So um, I've been feeling a lot less tired, which is really good. And uh, what I've been doing with that energy is stocking up my freezer for after baby comes with pre-made meals and tons of baked goods. So I've made lots of pies and muffins and things like that, frozen chilies, things like that, that I can just grab out um, of the freezer once I get home and I don't have to sit there cooking. Um, also, I have been getting more things ready. So John's room is nearly ready now his like new toddler room and um, we've got the car seat completely put together and everything and the base is all ready to go in the car and um, we also, I went and washed like all the baby's clothes and everything and like the baby detergent so that they're fresh and clean and ready for baby to wear when he comes. So yeah, I've been doing a lot with this energy that I'm having. I've been doing a lot of deep cleaning in my house too so I don't have to do that you know, when I get home. So anyways, that is my update for week 32. Um, I am week 33 starting today, so next update will be for week 33. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye! This is the belly for week 32 slash 33. He's getting so big, I can feel it. Ugh. This is from the front. And this is from the other side.